Hi everyone, it's Colour Me Ames here. Thanks so much for joining me. In today's video we're going to be looking at part two of my heritage collection by Garn's dog plushies. I was looking at my channel the other day, realised I did part one and then I don't know what happened to part two. So here it is guys, <laughs> the long awaited part two of the dogs in my Garn's range. So here we go, we'll have a look at the Corgi. It has a little bit of a grumpy face depending on how you're looking at it, but it's still very cute. Just show you guys the back of the tag for anyone who might be after this one. There's the number and it's Corgi. It's very lovely. It's sort of like an orangey brown coat and then obviously the white and it's got the short little stumpy legs. It's very sweet. So there's the Corgi. As we're going through, if you think of any name suggestions, please let me know. The only one who is named at this stage is my lovely Border Collie at the back there. That's Olivia. But everyone else is after a name, so please fire away in the comments. Next up we have here a Springer Spaniel. Let's have a look at the back of the tag. Springer Spaniel. It's got beautiful colouring on it. I feel like the um, fur here in the middle reminds me of like chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> it's really lovely. I just love the colouring on the Springer Spaniel and it's got a very sweet face about it. So just have a bit of a look-see. It's really beautiful. I just love this, the colouring, the brown and the white. I don't know what it is about Springer Spaniels. They always just look very lovely. So there's that one. Next up we have a beautiful Australian Shepherd who also has a super duper sweet face. Just have a look at the back of the tag for you guys. There you go. Having a look from behind, this one's got lovely different patterns on it and lots of different colours as you can see. Like they've gone to a lot of effort to get that detailing <laughs> of all the different colours that you can see on an Australian Shepherd. So that's really lovely and sort of nice and fluffy along with the colouring as well. Super duper nice. There's your Australian Shepherd. Next up, can't fault him, he is a beautiful black Labrador. Retriever there on the back of the tag. I always struggle to not buy black Labrador Retriever plushies when I see them on the remind me of my boy shadow. There we go, my real life fur baby sometimes has a little sniff of my plushy fur babies. <laughs> but there we go, so there's a beautiful black Labrador Retriever. Next up we'll have a look at this one. This is a bulldog. Here's the back of the tag. It's got the lovely face creases and it's got such a happy face on this one. It's very cheeky. It's got that lovely brown and white colouring and the detailing that they've gone to just with how they've stitched it together. With sort of that chunky chunkiness that you find on a bulldog which is really sweet. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera but it's sort of like folded over sort of fabric to give it that chunky look. So there's your bulldog. Okay, next up we have a sheepdog who, as with all my sheepdogs that I have shown you previously, always gets lost behind the fur there on the face. This is a real sweetheart, this one. It's really soft. It's got that Lovely pink on the inside of its ears. It's got a cute little smile. It's very sweet, the sheepdog. Just in case I didn't show you guys the tag, there it is. Sheepdog. Beautiful standard white and grey. So there you go, there's your sheepdog. Next up we have the boxer, who again, um, they've gone to that effort of sort of doing the stitching so it makes that shapeliness on its face. It's very sweet. Oh, sorry, we've got a bit of extra plushy fur there. So there's that one. Just have a look at the tag for you guys. So there's your Heritage Collection Boxer by Guns. I think the rubbish bins are just getting collected outside, so sorry if you can hear that in the background. There's our Boxer. Next up we'll have a look at this one. This is a very unique breed. I'm not 100% sure if I have any other of this breed in my collection. So it's really lovely to have this one. This is an Airedale Terrier. 
Yeah, Dale Terrier. Lovely colouring on this one. It's got the brown, the white and the black. And it's sort of almost like a, a lambs wool type texture on the legs and a little bit on the face there. It's really nice. <laughs> if anyone has any other Airedale Terrier plush in their collection, let me know. I'd love to see them. Um, I don't see them very often. Um, and I think this may well be the only one that I have in my collection at this stage. Um, I may be wrong. I'm on a bit of a lack of sleep at the moment. But uh, there's this cutie. It's very nice. So if you've got an Airedale Terrier plush, let me know in the comments below. And last but not least, we have Olivia. I have shown you her before in my border collar video, but I brought her out again for the purposes of part two <laughs> Garn's dog collection. Just show you her quickly again. It's a border collie, the lovely black and white. She's super soft and adorable. So there's Olivia. So Olivia's got her name, but we need names for all the rest of the babies. I will have a think and pop some pictures and or names up on my Instagram page, but I really love it um, when you guys suggest, so it's good to get some fresh ideas. If you've got any suggestions for me, please pop them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay safe. Bye.